Hey everyone, it's Desi Chang, and today I'm gonna to be telling you about my favorite sling bag of all time, of 2022, uh, my favorite sling bag ever. And that is the Bellroy Venture Sling uh, 9 liter. <laughs> So yes, the nine liters might be a little bit large for some of you guys, uh, but you know, their more popular version is actually their seven liter version. But I opted for the nine liter just because it's actually large enough to fit a camera and a lens. So really quickly, I just wanna let you know why I like it so much. It's stylish, it's packable, it's lightweight, it's um, uh, durable, it's waterproof, and it's large enough for me to fit my camera in here. Uh, other than that, the strap is very, very minimalistic, and there's no large buckles or anything like that. Um, I hate it when there's like a large buckle that, it's, that gets in the way, it makes it not so minimalistic. Um, now, the other great cool thing is that uh, on the side, it actually does have a buckle on either side, so you can easily just you know remove the strap. And the other great thing about it is uh, to adjust it as well is super simple. It requires little to no effort at all. So when it's on your body, you can easily tighten or loosen it, and it's extremely easy. Okay, so let's start talking about the materials of the bag. It's made out of this woven waterproof material that's made out of recycled materials. Um, now, at the very, very back side of it, as well as the bottom, it, has, it actually has some kind of a little bit of a padding. So it actually makes me a little bit more confident when I'm putting my camera inside the bag. So let's start talking about the uh, front small little pouch at the very top. As you can tell, there is a uh, weatherproof zipper, but the one thing is the zipper pull itself is kind of short in comparison to like the main zipper pulls, which I do like. So one improvement is yeah, they if they could maybe even just match and use the same zipper pulls as uh, the main compartment onto this front zipper, that would have been a great addition. But anyway, so let's open her up. And inside, it's quite spacious. I mean, right here, I just have a cloth mask right there. Got a Ziploc bag in here. Um, now, it's quite spacious, so you can actually put, you know, things like, you know, sunglasses or your wallet, your keys, your phone, um, whatever you want can actually fit right inside here. Now, inside, there is a nice little uh, key leash, so you can actually just quickly, you know, put your keys on here. And it has, it's attached to this kind of slightly elastic um, cord, which is nice. And looking inside here, there are actually two divided pouches right here. So on this one side, it's actually kind of small. And I, I don't really like this pouch just because you can't really fit too much in there. So I actually generally don't put anything in there. Um, and then also on this uh, one side, it's uh, the, the pockets are stretchy and elastic. And you know, I, I think it's just a perfect spot for me to just organize my receipts just to kind of put that in there. And so yeah, so that is the front accessory pocket. So moving on to the main compartment, how they've actually organized the, or made the zipper is a little bit weird and different compared to most bags. So the zipper can actually bow open from either side. It can open from this side, or it can open from this side, or you can have it kind of like in the middle right here, and you know, it's closed in the middle and open there. So a little bit awkward, but however, after getting used to it, I actually really, really do like the design of it. Just like that front accessory zipper, it does have this nice weatherproof zipper. So if it is, if it is raining, then you don't have to worry about your contents getting wet. So let's open her up and let's see what's inside. So inside there is, you know, it's quite voluminous right now. And right now I just have like one of my smaller cameras, which is the Leica Q in here. So I'll move that aside. But I just wanna show you that it's so big and so large that, you know, this is my full size largest camera. This is a, a, a Canon EOS R5 with a 24 to 70 attached. And it can fit in there no problem at all. 
I can just dump it in there and carry around just one camera, one lens without an issue. And it's, it's just great. And when I take the camera out, you know, you can squish down. So it's, you know, fairly a slim profile. So you don't have to, you know, and it's, it's moldable as well. So when you wear it around your body, it can kind of form to your body. Obviously, if, you know, if you're having something a little bit larger, like, you know, this camera, that's not really gonna work. The other great thing about it is it's so large that you can actually fit your standard size iPad in here, just like that, and it fits excellent. Now there's no dedicated sleeve for it, it would just be kind of in like the main area, but you know, just wanted to let you guys know. So looking into the contents of the bag, on either side, they actually have this kind of like a stretchy elastic pocket right here. Right now I have, uh, my iPod or AirPods in there just because, you know, it's it's just really easy just to kind of stash it in there and really, really easy to access. I really like it for that. However, how they've designed it is that it's actually large enough that you can actually fit a standard size water bottle in there, into it. And you can just kind of zip it up and secure your water bottle so it just fits like that. I mean, I've never really needed to use it like that, but it's great that you have that option that you can fit your water bottle into your bag. And if you want to still access your other stuff, you can still access it from the other side. And it is large enough that if you didn't want that, you can actually just fit your water bottle in here just like that. Now let's look at the back side of the bag. So on this back side, they do have this security zipper and that is great just because if you had any cash or your passport or anything like that, this is a fantastic secured area to keep it in. Now zipping that up on this one side, it does have some um, divided compartments right here. So there are actually two pen holders uh, it's a little bit difficult to see, but there are two, there's two pen holders uh, on this one side. There's one larger divided area. Again, you can fit smaller things in there like receipts or small little papers. Uh, and there's also a medium sized pocket on this other side where you can probably fit like business cards or anything like that. Now, moving on to the opposite side, I'm gonna flip the bag around just so it's easier to see. At the very, very top, they have this smaller mesh pocket zippered area here. And so, and it's all, it's also fleece lined as well. So this is a great place. If you had things like sunglasses, they can kind of fit in there perfectly. And you can kind of zip that up and you don't have to worry about your lens getting scratched. Okay, so this is just some of my everyday items that I carry and I just wanna show you that after I put all of these items in there, how much space I still have and how easy it is to access everything. So let's start with the front pouch. Uh, fairly simple, I'm just gonna throw on my mask in this front little thing so it's very, very easy to access all the time. And in the main compartment, I'm gonna throw my Leica Q2 camera in here. And in here, there's so much space. I'm gonna throw my sunglasses in here. Zip that up. Pen, I'll just slot right into a little pen slot. And uh, my AirPods, just into one of these side pouches right there. And zip it up. And well, before I zip it up, I just kinda of wanna show you that I still have so much room and so much space to kinda of put, um, you know, what, whatever else I want in here. And again, it's just so comfortable. It just kind of molds to my body and the bag is lightweight, feels like nothing. And yeah, it's amazing. Now stay tuned just because in the near future, I will be doing a comparison with all of the sling bags that I do have. I have a lot and I'll tell you what I like and what I don't like about each one of those. But anyways, if you've enjoyed this review and you want to see me do more of these, please like and subscribe and definitely don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Desi31.